Hello everybody, I feel like I look just a little bit more disheveled than usual because I got off, work, got off of work quickly, went to the store, and now I'm just filming this for fun, you know. So, most exciting thing, coolest thing, I don't know if exciting is the right word, but coolest thing first and then the rest is, is nothing too special. But I found these Mighty Bulbs and I have not looked up how much these cost, but I was fairly recently actually thinking about purchasing one of these so it was really cool to see these um it is a light bulb but it's special because it has one of those light sensors in it so it turns on and off by itself without the need for a switch it detects whether there's light on outside um so that is cool standard light bulb it's warm white um, which is 3,000 Kelvin. That's the temperature of the the light. I actually don't know if the light that I purchased this for actually uses this size of light bulb. I, I have to take a look at it. But basically, the front entrance to my apartment, I have an outdoor entrance. There is a light, but it's a recessed light, and I don't actually know what type of, type of bulb it takes. I just assumed it was a standard a19 bulb is what this is called but oh well still very cool i can still save it for something i'm sure this is something this is something that normally retails for more than a dollar 25 um copyright mighty bulb doesn't have that a dollar 25 printed anywhere on it i feel like this is an overstock item and not normally a dollar tree item so that was a pretty cool find um i have i bought two greeting cards and literally everything else is, is food um so i got some more Halloween cards, actually, because I was thinking about all the people I want to send Halloween cards to. Not normally that many, but um, a couple of friends of mine have had some just just negative things happen. And now I don't have to wait for a holiday to send them a card, but I felt like it'd be fun to send them a Halloween card. I don't normally send out Halloween cards, but I do really like Halloween as a holiday, and I was like, you know what, this year I'm going to send out a bunch of Halloween cards. Wanted to get some more. These are the $1 ones. Um, so I got this Thinking of You, and it's very glittery, and it says, just sending you a little Halloween hello to lift your spirits. And this one I've actually already purchased one of before, but I really liked the message inside. And it just says, may fun, treats, and magic galore bring Halloween happiness right to your door. It's very cutesy um, design with the jack-o'-lantern and owl on the front. Oh, I also got one of these trays. I think it said it's a barbecue tray, so I think this was a summer item. But I had not seen these before. Maybe I, I just wasn't paying attention. I love having a tray. Now, this is a very, like, thin flexible, not super sturdy tray, but when I'm snacking on the couch or just in general eating something very crunchy, I like to have a tray to catch all my crumbs and make makes for easy cleanup. I just dump it right into the trash can. And so now everything else is food, nothing particularly new. I think this is all stuff Dollar Tree normally carries, so you know food. It's, it's going to be the rest of the video. I got some veggie straws, which I've gotten before. I like them. I don't know if it's a good deal or not for 2.75 ounces, $1.25, just for the convenience of it, because it's actually pretty inconvenient from where I live to get to the grocery store. Um, I have to walk at least 10 minutes, which is not that terribly long, but in the winter time will be annoying. So Dollar Tree, I can hop on the bus and go directly to Dollar Tree, whereas everywhere else I have to like walk for a lot for a little bit and then get on the bus stop. Um, if if it's more than a like I don't know six minute walk, that's kind of a random number. More than a six minute walk, that's that's kind of a longer walk to get to a bus stop in my mind. This, um, I've never seen this before, and I wonder if this is kind of a local thing. Uh, this Papa Nicholas coffee, I haven't seen this in anybody's videos, and I wonder if, I, I'd seen this earlier. Ah, yeah, 
Papa Nicholas Coffee Co. is out of Naperville, Illinois. So I wonder if this is something only Illinois stores have or if all the Dollar Tree stores across the country will get it. But it's this Hawaiian Islands Light Roast. It's four ounces. Um, didn't do the math on it, but I think that's an okay price for coffee. Um, four ounces for $1.25. I mean, I, I get like 12 ounce bags for anywhere between six and ten dollars depending on the brand so it's actually a pretty good price for coffee now it depends on how it tastes though um the last co coffee roast whatever the last coffee bag that i bought at dollar tree did not taste very good um my last video i purchased some g fuel uh this store had multiple flavors and i decided to try i haven't even tried the last one yet but I decided to get this blue bomber slushy, which is Mega Man themed. The Mega Man video game. And Okay, so I, I lied a little bit about the food. Like these are these are new items. These are not normally things that Dollar Tree carries. I do want to end up trying all the G Fuels, but I didn't want to carry too many heavy things. Because honestly, like these 16 ounce cans do add up in weight. Carry too many things in one trip. Um, and I got this imitation vanilla extract. Um, lemon fluid ounces. I used to be a vanilla extract so snob. And then I learned through watching some videos and reading some articles that actually, if you're using it for baking, the it, it doesn't matter if you use genuine vanilla or imitation vanilla. Because while genuine vanilla does have more complex chemicals, um, and by chemicals I don't mean like artificial stuff, I mean like chemicals literally is everything. Like water is a chemical. As a, as a chemist, let me just, anyway, state that. Get that out of there. Uh, out of, uh, get, that, get that said. Um, but the complex chemicals that make up real vanilla, they are volatile and burn away in heat. So... If you use real vanilla to bake, all the fancy stuff disappears. And all you're left with is the same thing that imitation vanilla is made of. Long story short. That was a very terrible explanation. But yeah, I did the math and $1.25 for 11 ounces is, is pretty standard pricing not a great deal or anything like that but not bad at all this i i've never seen this before in one of my stores until today um crispy coconut rolls i have seen thrifty tiffany haul these several times and they're one of her favorite snacks it's two ounces um she said they're super light super tasty very low calorie um well i mean oh yeah eight of these is 150 calories it's made in Thailand. That's cool. I'm, I'm actually not a coconut person, but because she loves these so much, I just want to try them. Now, um, I, I bought crackers on her recommendation. I didn't like the crackers, so I don't know if we have the same taste buds, um, the same taste in, in foods and things, but oh well. Um, I got some Worcestershire sauce. This is slightly more expensive than Walmart. This is 10 ounces for $1.25 and the Walmart is like 12 ounces for 98 cents or something like that. But I just said earlier that it's easier for me to get to Dollar Tree than Walmart. So I just decided to pick it up while I was there. Um, I use this in Sloppy Joe recipes. Well, I only have one recipe that I use. It's my singular recipe. And then last couple items. It's five items, but four of them are the same. I decided to stock up on milk. I would buy more at one time. I, I, I like to have, I think I've mentioned this before, I like to just have things on hand so I don't have to worry about it, uh, so I don't have to run out to the store. I just have some basics. So I got four of these whole milk, um, Marshall's Modern Pantry. This, I did the math in a previous video. It's actually slightly cheaper than Walmart milk and a lot of other places. Um, and you can, it's shelf stable, so you don't even have to stick it in the fridge. Um, it lasts until, at least this one says, it lasts until August 2025. Um, 
yeah, I, I've used it and it doesn't taste any different than any other milk. Um, so, yep, just want to stock up on that. And I also wanted to try, I bought one of the 1% chocolate milk because um, I'd never tried their chocolate milk before. I'm actually not someone that drinks chocolate milk very often, but when I want to reach for something sugary, but don't want, you know, try not to drink too much, like super sugary stuff like pop, you can reach for something like this instead. It's a little bit better for you. It's actually a lot better for you. Um, yeah, so that is everything. Um, honestly, I, I really just, I also got, um, three things out of the frozen section, but nothing crazy. I seriously, like the number one thing I wanted to get was the milk. So I was really glad that they had several in stock. Um, they're plenty stocked on the milk. Um, I think this is now, now there are other, I've tried a couple different milk brands for different stores and, you know, some of the fancier milks. Um, fun fact, most, pa most Asian people are somewhat lactose intolerant. Um, you can become more tolerant. You can lose your tolerance if you don't drink milk after a while, and you can gain more tolerance if you drink milk for a while. Um, so if I don't drink milk for a while, um, if I just like happen to not buy milk for several weeks, I will like start to lose my tolerance. Um, anyway, so I've bought, I purchased lactose free milk before. Um, and I like the taste of that, but where am I even going with this? Oh my gosh, this is getting super rambly. Um, this is as good as any other milk I've tried. I don't know that I've, I have a favorite milk brand out there. So this is, this is becoming my favorite because of at least where I currently live, it's pretty easy to get to the Dollar Tree. So it makes it really accessible and I can, I'm not a prepper. I'm not a prepper in any way, shape or form, but I can like have that little bit of prepper, um, mentality and this will stay stable for almost a year. Um, so that's awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you later.